okay so let's make the sliding ability shall we go into home into toolbox you know go into the plugins and get this moon animator 2 plugin this will be very important because you will have to make your own sliding animation or you can use mine but you will also need moon animator 2 for this so close this you will have this r15 if you use my model or just go into plugins character insert presets and just like use this preset r15 i'll delete this though then click on this go to moon animator click on it click on your character and you i will write i already have like a sliding animation i'll be using this one what you just do is you double click on this file export rigs and you will have you can close this go into the model sliding right click this save to roblox yeah and then you will like be redirected to a link i will just do it again for you guys save up you have a link you click on this link and you will have this and save this um like id for later okay guys yeah while you're at it go in the description below and join my discord server you have an amazing community in here which you can like talk about like scripting and stuff you will see all my latest videos i make you will also have access to all the models i did the new new ones and also the old ones there is no excuse not to join you know just join it and have fun thank you next thing you need to do is okay let's close from this we don't need that anymore if you want you can also just delete this guy completely out of your workspace let's go into your starter character script and add a local script you know? because of course you don't want to server side script because not everybody will be sliding at the same time when you press c yeah rename this to like let's say sliding do you know like you don't have like a lot of local scripts and like you don't know where your sliding script is just like rename your things please then here you will have print hello world delete that thing okay we don't need that all right yeah so first of all we're gonna local our user input service so this will get the handles of the keyboard and mouse input yeah so local user user input service let me just like show it down uis equals to game top point get service user input service yeah easy as that then let's look at our character character script parent why is script parent like why are we not localing it like like more harder you can only use script parent for character if your script is inside the character model and because we are now in starter character scripts the script is inside our character model because look if you press play and we go into our player's character player scripts on in here i'm super sorry guys here def lawi uh you will see here sliding and our script our parent is our character exactly that's why we're using script parent in here then local our humanoid uh, which will be character double point wait for child uh humanoid and then we're also going to local our root part equals to character double point wait for child again humanoid root part if you don't know how to type these two things just look here or again you can just play go into workspace your character and you'll find both things here humanoid root part and humanoid why are we like localing these two things because we need these two things in order for our animations to play and also for our movement so next let's local our slide animation equals to instance dot new oh animation okay but now we need the animation id right so slide animation dot animation id will be now bear with me rbx which is for roblox and asset id dot point slash slash which is like a hyperlink and then after this double double slash we're gonna add our animation id which is this code right here so i'm gonna double click this copy go into our book studio right click paste it's easy as that guys then after that let's local our slide key equals item dot key code and then whatever button you want that when the user presses it they slide and i'm gonna use oh not y i'm gonna use c as most uh, game use but also a lot of games use left control or something this but i'm gonna just just use c just do whatever you guys want then let's add a low like a like a boolean value you can slide yeah it goes true when you start up the game you can slide this is just to prevent the players from like spamming slides so that like, they can slide infinitely no we don't want it in our game right then let's add a function function hack uh activate slide let's say yeah um so with this function we're gonna perform the slide logic so if not can slide uh, re then return and so if can slide is on false we're not gonna like do the function because then the player can just like spam it can slide equals to false so when they're sliding we're gonna change can slide to false so they cannot spam it then let's local our animation track which will be in our humanoid oh double point load animation and then inside our bracket side animation which is this this yeah then animation track double point play we're gonna play our animation the character 
this animation will be playing so i think now even if you now press c nothing works because my animation is like a bit weird you need the other things to work in order to uh, the animation to work all right local body velocity equals instance dot new body velocity why do we need a body velocity well with a body velocity we can move our character in any direction inside our script so that's why i'm going to use body velocity because when you press c you slide forward then body velocity dot max force bear with me factor 3 dot new 30,000 comma 0 comma 30,000 now why are we doing here a zero not a 30,000 as well well because you put a zero here which is the y value we can only we allow the script only to move in the x and z direction not y y is up and down when you slide you cannot like fly up right exactly so body velocity dot velocity equals root part dot c frame dot look vector times a hundred so what does this line do it's super confusing right well no it's not this will just push the character forward based on where the character is looking at so when i'm looking left i'm gonna slide left when i look right i will slide right you know simple as that where is the parent like where will we put this body jeez my english is not like working right now our body velocity which will be in the root part yeah then for underscore equals 1,8 do what we're gonna do here so in this for loop we're going to gradually reduce the slide velocity over time to simulate friction yeah we're gonna do a simple friction simulation right now this will be very hard watch this guys task squared 0 0.1 by the small delay between each reduction body velocity dot velocity times equals 0 0.7 which will be to reduce speed each step and this is it guys we just made us a friction simulator that was hard right no it's not exactly animation track the point stop this is like at the end of the end like of the sliding we're gonna also destroy our body velocity and lose by this destroy and then you can slide again you know we allow the player to slide again can slide equals true this is your whole script it's super tiny right well yeah it doesn't have to be big it's not i'm sorry because when we press c nothing works why is that though i thought i thought we had like our our slide key here like but where 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 else is slide key never nowhere to be seen we're gonna put this in here user input service dot input began dot no point connect function key comma is pro says exact like this if key dot key code double equals slide key not animation slide key then activate slide so when a user presses a button let's say i press i yeah okay the user press the button if key code like if i equals slide key is i a slide key no slide key is c and when i press c c is c yes it is then we're going to activate slide which is this function and we're going to do whatever they're telling right here yeah let's test it out i press c and i'm sliding but now which is a very very stupid bug or it's not even a bug it's just like a feature when i press on chat and let's say i'm typing something activate yeah a c oh i slided when i typed in chat let's fix this shall we it's very easy let's add a new line here if it's processed then return and that's so hard right no because with this line you're gonna ignore the input if it was used by something else like typing in chat you know i think i didn't save it because no it saved let's play i'm sliding you see everything works as normal i'm gonna type in chat i'm gonna press activate oh see i, I press c and, and nothing's happening i go away from chat that is how you do it simple as that guys well i hope i explained to you like pretty good how everything works each line uh i think you learned now how to make your whole sliding system by yourself challenge yourself by making remaking the script on your memory just like thinking about whatever i told you and you should be better at scripting in no time well thank you for watching this like and subscribe if you want more and join the discord group down in the description below thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one